Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today I'm going to take you on a ride in my thinking process like how I come up with ideas concerning stationery and then hopefully also make some of those ideas come true. So today we are talking about pocket notebooks. So I recently showed you that I bought these field notes notebooks and they cost about six euros with shipping each. And I have now started to use this pocket TN for my brain dump and I'm already almost running out of my first notebook. This was of course, this was also something that I just put together from my old stationery stash. So of course one of these that has 48 pages would last longer, but then we are again there that these cost six euros a piece and that may become a problem with my tight budget. So I was thinking about what could I use as a pocket notebook from my stash. And I came up with a lot of ideas. So I will show you. First, of course, I have one of these old scraps as a measuring tool. So this was actually a surprise. So this is a Hobonichi A6, these slim notebook. So this is actually the exact same height as a pocket notebook, which I was surprised of. So you can see it's not a lot about, this is like so scientific, it's about five, maybe even six millimeters wider as the original, like this pocket notebook, but it's not a lot. So actually I could use this straight here without any modification. Just put it here and as you can see it fits. Of course if I want it to be the same size as the pocket I just cut the six extra millimeters from here and voila I would have a pocket notebook. I don't now remember how much these cost so if this is cheaper to use one of these than to buy more of these field notes but what I don't like about this A6 notebook is that they are perforated here so you have to be careful not to tear them but otherwise I was surprised that this is this would be such an easy solution. Okay, solution number two. This is the weeks, the same notebook, but the week size. So this you can see is taller and it's slimmer. So if I would use this, I would cut here from the top or bottom and then it's smaller than my pocket notebook. But of course that could also work. But I like to use now these for my food logging. So I don't think that I would sacrifice one of these for my pocket brain dump. Then this idea I got when I was going through my stash. So I have pulled the note pages from the Hobonichi week. So if I have unused pages I will tear them from the books and use them somehow. Luckily I haven't been so rough so I have these up in pretty good condition. Not all are but some are so I don't know if you have done it but because you have the binding in books you just have to go there where the binding is. So in the Hobonichi weeks you can see the stitches like the thread going and then you just pull from here so then you get this like in hole. But when if you go here then you get just one page at a time. And if I would have been clever I would have cut the th threads so I would have like whole sheets but this is okay I could put my own binding like here where I have this it's not broken so I could just take 
I don't know, I haven't decided on the amount, but just take these sheets, put a stable or a, I think I would put some thread here and then cut it in right size. So as you can see, I didn't realize that either the Hobonichi Weeks is the same width as a pocket notebook. So I didn't have to cut a lot from here and then just this from the top or bottom or both. I don't maybe from the bottom, so I don't I don't need those page numbers. But then I could have and then I of course I had to put here something from a sturdier paper to make as a cover. But then I would have a notebook from these pages. What I don't like here, of course, this is now the cream paper. It would go, but I don't enjoy this line so much. So that's a bit annoying. But that would be an excellent use for these papers to make them as pocket notebooks. Then my original idea was this. This is an Hobonichi A6 notebook and this is now unused. So I'm not so happily to tear this down. <laughs> But this I can show you as an example. Well, here you can see here is a... Then you have to just find the center. So here is a center place. So in theory, if I just cut these now... And now you have to remember that I'm ruining this notebook. So don't do this for your to your notebooks if you are not ready to ruin it. But here I could just cut these threads and then I would get these sheets in whole. This is now, I in the Hobonichi weeks, I would just tear these now, what I have done for these. So then I would get holes here where the threads go. But now that I realize that I have these, I don't think that I'm yet ready to sacrifice this A6 notebook, but that's an option and I would like that would be so nice because I think I would make one red notebook and then one blue, one green and one purple and I think that would be like wonderful. So maybe, let's see, maybe in the future, but I would love that, have different color of notebooks. And of course, one option is to cut this in pocket size, but that's, I don't think I would enjoy having such a thick brain dump book here because that would be so many pages, it would last forever. And I, I kind of like the idea of switching notebooks from time to time. I don't want it to be so thick. Then one option is also, I have these Midori, notebooks. I want my brain dump book to be gridded or dot grid. So mostly I have these gridded notebooks and this is easier I think to find the center place. So here again you just cut these threads and then you would have these. And Hobonichi of course has smaller grid so here now I have this five millimeter and I think this was this field notes was 4.7. And this Hobonichi one is very small. I don't now remember, but I think it was less than four, like 3.7, something like that. And this has again bigger. So this is, is this five? Yeah, so this is five millimeter. So if I would want a bigger grid size, this would be okay, but Again, I use these now for my weekly reviews, so I am not ready to offer this. So, but this is an option, so I wanted just to show you that. Then in my stash, I found this is a Nuna notebook. And here I, you can see the expensive price that it had in 2018. So before my YouTube career. <laughs> And this is a German notebook. This is pretty thick paper and it doesn't say here, but this is now dot grid and this is a very small dot grid. This is, seems to be like 
five or it's just over two millimeters so this is like tiny so here I usually write with two lines but this <laughs> you can see I have already taken papers out of this and actually I found these I had these in my discs where I have random papers so here actually I got the idea so I could take more of these papers out of this notebook and here you can see the binding more clearly so this is very easy to find the center place and again the four stitchings this is probably what I will most likely do because this is already I have already taken papers out of here but again this is lovely for my money notes so when I'm paying bills and everything so I like to use these A6 notebooks for that so this is kind of waiting for its turn to be my money notebook this is tough like what you want to te tear apart and what you want to because this is lovely but yeah this is one option for me but i have to now ponder a while and think about what i will do or if I just... The easiest option is that I just start using this as my brain dump. But the reality is and then that I then have to keep buying these. I will take now a break and think about it. And then if I end up deciding what I will do, I show you how I make my notebooks. So if you want to see that... Just keep watching. So I decided on the Nuna notebook and first I have to take the pages out. I started with the scissors but then realized that it's easier to use a stitch ripper. And then I'm counting the pages and I left the equal amount in the book as I took out. So in the end I ended up with 11 sheets so that will be 44 pages which is a nice amount because the field notes notebook has 48 pages then i'm making sure that i have the holes right so that's easy to sew and then i'm <laughs> making sure what's the cover size and i realized that it says it in the field notes so then I'm cutting my cover and this didn't go so well so <sighs> yeah so I should have written on paper what size I'm aiming for so here you can see that I have to use some tape to <laughs> cover up my mistakes and then I'm making sure again what I'm doing here so I really should have written the measurement down on paper but in the end I end up with a cover page <laughs> for my notebook but it wasn't the right size so when I was folding it one side was longer but I thought that I fix it when I cut the notebook so then I'm putting the pages inside my cover and deciding on where I want to cut. So upper or bottom side and I decided to cut the page numbers away and aim the top side so I don't have to cut at all on that side so that I only have to cut on two sides. Then I'm again making sure that I have the holes so it's easier to sew and then it's time to sew the notebook so that the cover stays in place when I cut it. You could also of course stable your notebook but I don't have such a good stapler and I also I don't enjoy stables. So previously when I was using more TNs I usually just took the stables out and replaced them with some thread. 
so I just enjoy that so much more and then I don't have to put washi in the middle to protect my strings in the TN. After sewing it's time to cut the notebook and I have this metallic piece from an IKEA furniture. <laughs> I just took it from a friend who didn't need it so I don't even know what furniture that is from but that's a nice metallic ruler so one advice don't use a plastic ruler or anything that's made of a soft material where your knife could cut in because then you get a crooked notebook and then you are in danger so a metallic ruler is a must I think if you are using a knife and I just aim the metallic ruler in place and then you of course you need something where you are cutting so you don't ruin your table or floor or anything so I have this some kind of cutting board. So then I aim the metallic ruler in the place where I want to cut with these pieces of tape and then I just take my carpet knife and start cutting and here you have to be so careful that you are not cutting your fingers or anywhere else you are not supposed to cut so be very careful and of course the sharper your knife the easier the job but then of course it's also more dangerous <laughs> but it's easier with a sharper knife so I think that's like more secure in that way so you don't have to like struggle to get through the paper and then just like one page or a few pages at a time it depends of your paper and your knife and then you get through the notebook of course making a notebook I think I started with like cutting the papers all in the like in the right size but then I realized that that is not how you make notebooks because if you just take a chunk of papers in the same size and fold them you notice that the paper edge is not in the same place so if you want to have your self-made notebooks in the same way as those that you are buying you have to cut it after you have folded them so the inner pages are smaller than the outer ones maybe this is like something that you are like of course but for me that realization has come with making notebooks then I had to cut again on the other side because I didn't get it completely straight but that's okay and then I just have to cut the side edge and I think this went better than it's it's best that you get it with one cut so it's straight and don't have to go back cutting more then I want to round the corners and here I try to first decide on the rounding and I think that the field notes has the 10 millimeter rounding but I'm not sure so I start with the 7 millimeter and then decide that that's not enough and here this is maybe the one place when where I was clever so I didn't go straight with the bigger rounding but I made sure that this is the right size because if I round the corner I'm not getting the paper back anymore and then when I was certain with that I want to go with the 10 millimeter rounding I did all the corners on the pages and the covers and I'm not sure why I put those flowers in the inner cover now that I'm thinking about it they would have been better on the outside but done is done and it will be okay but in retrospect I put the cover the wrong way around then it's time to clean up a bit and then I want to put some well 
<laughs> then I'm putting again some tape on my cover because yes <laughs> and then I'm putting some nice holographic foil and this is the reason why I'm thinking now that I ha should have put the flowers on the outside so then I would have some nice white covers in the inside and this is now a complete mess I don't know why I do stupid things on video I'm I was like because you see I do it just the, I do it the wrong way and it's not once it's at least twice <laughs> And I try to always think what, well, I'm not so like stupid in real life. I don't do those things in real life, but maybe I do. It's just now that I see myself on video, it's like clear, it's in my face, like, look what you're doing. And this is always when I'm not like planning, I'm just going with the flow and doing things and then think, afterwards when I'm have already made the mistake but it's not perfect but it's okay it's it's really is okay it just was a hassle yeah and it's not pretty now that the flowers are covered with but it, it's okay I can I can live it live with it I can I can it's okay I use it and then the next one when I'm doing it I Maybe I have to watch this video and learn from my mistakes and make it better from the get-go. <laughs> but the main thing is that I got what I wanted. I got a new nice pocket notebook with nice paper with a dot grid. So everything is well in the end. <laughs> I have still pages left in that Nuna notebook so I can make the same notebook again with 44 pages and it only well only it took me about 50 minutes to make that notebook it's a lovely notebook and i have already started to use it it's very nice next week i'm probably going to show you my updated setup in my pocket tn so you will see my new notebook in use. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. I hope to see you down below in the comments. Bye bye.